My name is Christopher Parker, Director of Planning and Community Development for the City of Dover. I'd like to welcome you to the Capital Improvements Program. The Capital Improvements Program is a vital part of our community planning process. This six-year plan allows the City to identify the needs of the community and prepare a long-term funding strategy to meet those needs. We identify our needs through the City's Master Plan, which is a document we update every five to ten years. The Master Plan offers guidelines for growth and development throughout the City. It has chapters on transportation, recreation, community facilities, and utilities. What follows will be an overview of projects department heads have included in year one of the program. These overviews will cover the cost of a project, the funding source used, and the justification of a project. You'll notice a variety of funding sources are used. Some projects are debt financed, some have reserve accounts, some are grant funded, and some have special revenue. Finally, we use the operating budget to fund other projects. As we put together this program, we have reviewed our resources and allocated them appropriately. As in years past, we developed a plan where the new debt service equals the amount of debt being retired for city projects. This is required that we move some projects around and reduce the scope of others. We have also continued to rely more on capital reserves and paying for projects within the operating budget wherever possible. You might ask yourself as you view the video, how do projects get listed in the six-year program? A project must have a minimum lifespan of three years and an aggregate cost of at least $25,000. It also must meet one of four criteria. It must promote the health and safety of employees and residents, protect a previous capital investment, offer ways to save money providing a service, or increase the efficiency of providing that service. We hope that you find this video informative and useful. Thank you. This project replaces 14 building interface panels and computer connectivity between the HVA systems and the automation and control systems that are outdated. This communication and control infrastructure is in need of replacement as the current equipment is no longer serviceable and cannot be counted on to work consistently and efficiently. The project will cost $150,000 and be funded over three years in the operating budget. Cardiac monitor and defibrillators are some of the most used pieces of life-saving equipment in the city's three ambulances. This technology needs to be up to date to ensure reliability and safety. The city employs a replacement program whereby the new units will be placed in ambulances. The current ambulance units will be placed in fire engines and the current fire engine units will be retired from service. This project is funded through the Capital Reserve Fund in the fire and rescue category. The current staff vehicle is a 2000 Chevy Silverado, which has extensive rust and is in need of repairs if not replacement. This vehicle provides a variety of services. It's the City of Dover's forestry vehicle, it provides snowplow assistance at the fire stations, and it also tows the city's life safety trailer. The project is funded through the Capital Reserve Fund in the fire and rescue category. This is an annual replacement of public works heavy equipment. The current auto car 10 wheel dump truck is 24 years old and parts are becoming difficult to obtain. The frame of the truck is also showing signs of deterioration. Financing for this project comes from the Capital Reserve Fund in the public works category. These monies go to addressing the roadway and sidewalk needs identified by the city's pavement management program. This program uses geographic information system solutions to evaluate and assign conditions to each city-maintained segment of roadway. This software allows staff and the public to see how our streets are connected to other projects than themselves. This connection allows staff to develop a comprehensive street and sidewalk repair strategy using the funds allocated by the CIP.
This intersection currently is not designed for larger truck traffic movements, which are required to enter and exit Enterprise Park. Vehicles travel in more than one lane when turning onto and from Venture Drive. This debt finance project will redesign and reconfigure the intersection of 6th Street and Venture Drive to widen the turning lanes and accommodate larger vehicles. This debt finance project continues previous reconstruction work for a heavily traveled corridor connecting routes 108 and 155. The work includes design for drainage, sidewalks, and street reconstruction from 66 Bellamy Road to Durham Road. This debt finance project will replace a failing granite box culvert located under the railroad tracks at Red Shoe Barn with a 72-inch drain line. This piece of stormwater infrastructure accepts all the drainage from the New York Street, Ham Street, and Ela Street areas of the city. This debt finance project provides for reconstruction of the drainage network and road surfaces along these two older roadways. Currently, the drainage infrastructure is inadequate and the roadway is in disrepair. This neighborhood reconstruction project has moved up in the CIP from 2019 to 2016 due to the rapid disintegration of the roadway and drainage system. Staff believes that there may be inflow and infiltration issues with sewer lines taking on unwanted stormwater. The debt finance project will be accompanied with water and sewer work as part of a total reconstruction. The redesign of this urban street was included in the FY 2013 CIP. This debt finance street and drainage reconstruction project will be accompanied by a new water main, sewer replacement on the Belknap Street side, as well as new sidewalks. This debt finance project will reclaim the road surface, repave the road, and add new curbing. New this year is the installation of a sewer line to tie into a line added on Old Stage Road in 2014. This will allow residents of Richardson Drive to replace their septic systems with municipal sewer. The 2009 Recreation Chapter of the Master Plan recommends a number of maintenance and upgrade items for parks throughout the city. These projects include replacing signage, increasing and replacing benches, and other amenities as well as replacing and maintaining playground equipment before a complete rehabilitation is required at a greater price. This ongoing project will utilize park playground capital reserve funds and impact fees to complete the work. The school department is proposing three new projects which will use operating budget funds to put money into capital reserve accounts. These accounts, similar to ones used by the city, will ensure adequate funding is available for curriculum, facilities, and IT upgrades without having larger increases in tax rates. This project will use reserve funding for ongoing projects upgrading curriculum needs to ensure that students have the tools and resources necessary to have a 21st century education. Maintenance of facilities and schools is imperative to the Dover School District operations. Renovation is needed for such items as HVAC, plumbing and electrical upgrades, window replacements, cafeteria and kitchen maintenance, bathroom replacement and expansion, and remodeling or enlarging of classrooms to meet New Hampshire state standards. This project will be funded through the operating budget. This ongoing reserve and operating budget funded project will make infrastructure improvements to the existing IT network. This work includes replacement of servers, routers, and switches, as well as the creation of an annual hardware replacement program where devices will be replaced every five years. The Dover High School and Career Technical Center is an aging facility that has obsolete mechanical, plumbing, electrical, and ventilation systems. This project will improve accessibility and safety by replacing parking and sidewalks as well as fire systems. It will renovate bathrooms to improve accessibility and energy efficiency, it will replace flooring, carpeting, and ceiling tiles, replace and upgrade heating, ventilation, and air conditioning units, as well as replace classroom and corridor lighting, add power, data, and cable to classrooms, and provide new electrical services. Finally, a replacement of Dunaway Field with AstroTurf will be included. The project will be debt financed. The State Building Aid Revolving Fund will be available for the Career Technical Center portion of the project. The Dover School District has five kitchens and cafeteria spaces to maintain. 
ongoing repair of the infrastructure as well as repair and replacement of equipment and furniture is necessary to provide high quality food and nutritional services to students. Cafeteria revenue will be used to fund routine maintenance, repair and replacement as well as specific upgrades to life safety equipment, serving lines and other mechanical systems. The snow removal machine, which will be operated by parking bureau staff, will be purchased with parking activity funds. This machine will be used to clear walking lanes from the street to the sidewalk after a snowstorm. This will improve access to businesses in the downtown. The school department owns and operates a number of smaller vehicles, such as a van to transport students to various curricular and co-curricular activities, as well as maintenance equipment such as tractors and scissor lifts. There is a current need to expand the number of vans available and to ensure that vehicles utilized are safe, secure, and efficient. Facility and vehicle rental revenues will be used to fund these projects. The FY14 CIP authorized the design and reconstruction of Union Street. This reserve-funded project will replace the water main on Union Street from Central Avenue to Court Street during that reconstruction. This debt finance project replaces an existing 50-year-old injector-style pump station with a suction lift pump station. Parts are no longer available from the manufacturer, and the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services is no longer allowing these types of stations to be built. This debt finance project designs upgrades for an existing 40-year-old pump station due to the unavailability of parts for repair. Newer, more energy-efficient technology will improve the operation of this station. I hope this overview has been informative, educational, and useful as you continue to review the Capital Improvement Program. You'll notice over 90 projects in the six-year timeline. As you review the list, you'll note that projects are listed chronologically. This allows new projects to fall at the bottom of the list in each category. The Capital Improvement Program relies on a public participation process for its adoption. The first step in this process is the joint workshop between the Planning Board and City Council. In the following weeks, the Planning Board and the City Council will each hold public hearings and deliberations on the program. We encourage the public to be involved and participate in this process. We have created a web page devoted to the Capital Improvements Program. If you go to the City of Dover website and click on Planning, you'll find a link to the Capital Improvements Program. The site has information contained in this overview as well as a citywide map with locations of projects. We encourage you to contact the City Manager or staff if you have questions regarding the program or a specific project. Thank you.